For me, the pathway has been an interesting journey. I've learned things I never knew I'd need in life, and sometimes I've had to learn the hard way. I've made lots of new friends along the way, and I've developed so much in the past two years. But I finally think I'm getting to where I need to be. So what's it all about? Well, it's basically a pathway for young people who are homeless or leaving care that helps you towards being able to live in your own place. Everyone is different and has different needs, but those needs can change. So Camden Key Workers listen to young people, like you, to understand your needs, then work with you together to come up with a personal plan that supports you along your way. First off, you stay in an assessment centre for around six months, like this one for young women. It's the first stop along the pathway and you'll get as much support as you need. You may not get much help with your singing, but here you're given a key worker to help you with all sorts of other things. Caroline's my key worker and um, like she helps me sort out my finances if I've got any problems in the hostel or outside the hostel. What we're doing this morning is uh, boiling some peas for the Black History Month. Tomorrow we're cooking many other foods as well. Even though I might have cooked and done stuff like independently, I wasn't as independent as I am now. For me it's very rewarding when I see them cooking food that I've shown them how to prepare and that and they're doing it on their own or you know adding a little spice or twist to it. No participation, no food. Yeah. You see that on camera they're starving us. <laughs> Participate! <laughs> there are about 20 young women who share the assessment centre. Most of them will have suffered abuse or rejection by other people, including their families. So this is a place of safety, as well as a good place to learn about independence. As a young person, you always find that older people are like, looking down at you or yeah. like expect you oh to like God, do something but with Vivian she doesn't set us targets that we find impossible even though times are hard now she lets us know that it's gonna get better and it's all based on us and how we deal with the situation that we're in some of the young people need specialist support such as help with learning difficulties or mental health problems. The Pathway has many services that offer specialist support where they can encourage the young people to develop their interests outside of the accommodation too. Someone let the lion out the cage. I'm a new rapper out the ice age. Ice age. My key workers knew I liked music and they um, got in touch with the roundhouse for me to um, use the equipment here. With lots of young people living under one roof, the pathway just wouldn't work if there weren't house rules. If anyone has any problems with rules, or any disputes, they're discussed as a group at the regular meetings. The rules here are a little bit less strict than you would find in first stage, which is the assessment centre. My issue is that if you want to book in overnight guests, you have to do it before 10, otherwise they can't stay. They can only stay till 1 o'clock in the morning. We do see why you would be asking it is something that we will be looking into. Okay. A lot of these kids have come from, you know, homes where they've not been taught certain life skills. So it's very important for us to make sure that they've developed that before they move on. There's some people that don't look after themselves or they don't go out and do things they're supposed to do. They'll rather go off and do other things. What I do is work with young people who live in supported housing in the pathway. Mm -hmm. So I go out and I see people who's concerned about drugs or alcohol in some way. I'm not there to stop people taking drugs or to be like anti-drinking. What I do is help people get to where they want to be. If I mess about in this place and then <laughs> we're going to go after that kind of thing. So I have to be good. As I've said before, the aim of the pathway is to increase the ability to live independently as you move through. But if at any time you need and are willing to accept, you can return to a higher level of support at any time. We specialise in young people who are struggling that bit harder in coping with homelessness, coping with life, suddenly being asked to leave from home and depression kicks in, all of us suffer from depression but some cope with it better than others. The young people speak confidentially one-to-one -one with their key worker to help with any issues they may have. They also look into their interests and match them to any opportunities that may help them on their pathway back to independence. We've got Chris here who's um, he's interested in graffiti and wants to take that further. We're trying to identify any um, creative arts courses that are running. 
when they first come to us, um, because of how low esteem they have, there's no eye contact and they expect you to do everything for them. They just don't have that energy. Um, and as it progresses, there's more eye contact to the point when they challenge the house rules sometimes, challenge us as workers. Um, and that's when we know they're at a good point. If you've developed as a person, you're feeling positive and more independent. You may find yourself living in a move-through service. This means you're almost at that final goal to having your own flat, but not before some final advice and training to help you on your way. One bill that a lot of people actually seem to forget about is tax, which is one, yeah? But what's the one bill that potentially you could end up in prison for if you don't pay it? TV licence. Correct. From what they haven't received in the past through to what they get here, they get it from all angles, whether it's through cooking, whether it's you know sitting down and having a conversation and finding out how someone is today. I feel a lot yeah, more confident being able to manage my own, my own home, manage my own place yeah. and really manage oh, myself, to be honest. So then you get to live in your own place, right? Well, some people are helped into private shared flats or bed sits. Or if you're a care leaver, which means you're under the care of Camden Council, then you could be living in a place like this, with just a little support from key workers, who visit to check on how you're getting on. I speak on behalf of myself and you know everyone throughout the pathway. We're here to help young people and make a change in people's lives. I was always negative. I still am now. I still, it's hard for me to see the positives. But now that there's more positives coming out, I can, I can see them and reflect on them and they're really helping me a lot. It just makes us feel good about ourselves and you know, just gives us like a boost. I want to get a job. Um, I want to be a mechanic. I had an appointment yesterday which really helped me and my mum's relationship and it's made, it, made a big difference. Living by yourself and living in pathways, it makes you realise that it's up to you now, like it's your own responsibility to go out and do the things that you need to do. For more info, visit the website www.camden.gov.uk and follow the links through housing, supporting people and hostel pathways. Or you can call the team 020 7974 2268 or 020 7974 5519.